Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the automation server can create object error you are experiencing on your Windows computer. So if you're browsing on Internet Explorer and you're using ActiveX commands and you're coming across this message that, that the automation server cannot create the object, this tutorial will be for you. So let's go ahead and jump right into it and we're going to start by opening up Internet Explorer. So I'm going to open up Internet Explorer through the start menu since we don't actually have a taskbar icon for it. Please note Internet Explorer is not the same as Microsoft Edge. You can see there are two completely different icons down here. So once you have Internet Explorer open you want to go ahead and right click on the tools icon in your top right corner of the browser should appear as a little gear icon so go ahead and just left click on that one time and then you want to select the area that says internet options now you want to go select the security tab just left click on it one time and now you want to go left click on where it says trusted sites and now in the security level is for this zone you want to go select the area that says custom level so there should be a button under here so go ahead and left click on that and now scroll down a little bit in this list until you get to the area that says initialize and script activex controls not marked as safe for scripting so you can see that right here you want to go ahead and enable that and then left click on OK it's going to ask, are you sure you want to change the settings for the zone? Go ahead and lock on OK. Now back in Internet Options here, you want to go select the General tab. And then under the Browsing History section, you want to select Delete. Please note, you should be clearing your browsing data. You can read through exactly what you're deleting here. So website data, temporary internet files, cookies, history, and whatnot. You can go ahead and customize this a little bit, so if you didn't want to delete history, you could probably go ahead and just forgo that option, just uncheck it. Otherwise, if you're okay with everything in here, you want to go select Delete. And once that's done, just click on Apply and OK. Restart your browser, and that should be about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.